the Organization of Islamic Cooperation, OIC Gambia Secretary and the Ministry of Works, Transport and Infrastructure, on Saturday visit the organization's project site. The Secretary and the Ministry started their visit with the VVIP Airport Lounge, located at the Banjul International Airport, and proceeded to the 22-kilometer Battle Hayden Highway Road project. Speaking to journalists, Minister of Works, Ibrahim Asilla expresses happiness with the progress of work. As far as the government of the Gambia is concerned, we are extremely very happy with uh, the progress of work and uh, we are hopeful that uh, by end of uh, December 2022, this project would be completed and then uh, ready to be handed over to the government of the Gambia. Um, it shows the seriousness uh, first on the part of the government, our consultants and the contractor to ensure that uh, there is timely delivery of uh, the project. This is very critical to the overall um, initiative of the Gambia government to host uh, the OIC and um, a lot of uh, preparations are on the way. The RSK project manager for the VVIP launch, Ayman Masuri says 65% of work have already been done within the materials delivered. <clears throat> and inshallah by the end of this year we will be able to finish all the works and then uh, we can proceed for sure inshallah for the handing over of the building. It's in two months? Yes. In fact, it was a challenge because since we started the project, we already made the, the plan. All the long lead items were already ordered and we put them on track. So that's why you are seeing that means all the materials are already delivered. Uh, you can say that 95% of the materials related to this project were imported. So we put already everything on track, completing our shop drawings and design and get all the necessary approvals to proceed with the procurement plan. We delivered the materials and we are under installation phase. And inshallah, though, by the end of this year, we will be able to complete all the assigned works. The CEO of OIC Gambia Secretariat says the project is really making them proud since it is going to be the first project they will complete by the end of the year. It has been a source of delight since this project started that each time we come, they are not only on track, but then we see the work progressing with huge satisfaction. And uh, the countdown to the summit begins. And since this is the gateway to the outside world, it's really, really heart I mean, warming that this project is really making um, us really proud. It's, uh, it's going to be one of the very first projects that will be completed by the end of the year. And that's a source of um, encouragement for us as a secretariat. The managing director of the National Roads Authority Mumud Senghor says building a six-lane dual carriage would really go a long way in easing the movement of traffic. Yes, uh, we all aware of the congestion you know, we are experiencing from Banjul to the traffic light coming this end. Uh, building a six-lane dual carriage would really go a very long way in easing the movement of traffic. And by that I mean getting to destinations quickly in a very short time and of course at reasonable speed. You know, so this is what flyovers are all about, because at intersections, they are there to divide the traffic. Some would go under and some going towards the airport and the sting corner would go on top. So there will be a segregation of traffic. So at least normally the sort of congestions we, we experience at intersection would now be a thing of the past. The structural engineer for Saudi Consult, Gamte JV, and the consulting engineer for the 22-kilometer road project, Ibrahim Acham says they are making good progress in time of work. Hi, work. We are making good progress. Um, currently, what we are we are standing at the site of the overpass um, that will be built at um, the Old Indom Junction. Um, as you know, this is a very important junction because there's a lot of traffic here. So having an overpass here will definitely help with the flow of traffic because basically what it will mean is that the traffic that is coming from from the airport. Uh, which doesn't have any need to, 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 to go to Sinchu or, or anywhere near here. They can just continue, um, so which will really help in terms of the movement of traffic here. So we'll have an important bridge here, um, which currently it is under construction. Um, the piling work has been done, which is an important part of the foundations, um, which goes up to about 70 meters deep um, in this particular location. 70 meters here, and they are 800, 800 millimeter diameter piles. Um, so uh, that has already been done and also we are currently doing the, the, the pile caps, what we call pile caps, which will join the, the piles together. 
um, um, that they have started doing the casting, which you can see from here. And after that, of course, they will move on to do the, the columns for the, for the bridges. So they are making good progress. Um, as I said, the foundation were an important part of the job, and that has been done successfully. The visit was aimed at assessing the development and progress of work at the VVIP Airport Launch and the 22-kilometer Battle Hardin Highway Road Project. Reporting for Kerfato, I am Fatsila.